So inside the tram, we can see the beautiful woodwork it shows the skill of the joiners that built the tram back in 1893. Back at that time, there was no real sort of proper standard design for a tram, and there's lots of clues in here of how they adapted designs of horse trams into an electric tram car. So really the wooden body on this tram is what an extended version of what you would see in a typical horse tram. It's longer to mount on the bogies. And in particular, you can see that in the roof. This is called a turtle back roof with these sticks that support the roof. This is a cholestri where we can open the little windows there and let in on a nice hot sunny day like today, you can let in the fresh air or maybe for people who smoked inside, let cigarette and pipe smoke out. And the flat piece on top, now traditionally, on a double-decker horse tram, that's where on the outside you'd have that knife board seat on the outside. And the other sort of clues for um, horse tram sort of design and evolution is that the bodywork is very strong but very sort of simple in the way of the cross section of the timber, it's, it's very, very sort of small. And the idea for that was a horse tram, obviously the lighter of the tram, the greater the load the horse could pull, the more pass can put on. So you can see the sort of evolution from a horse tram to an electric tram in this vehicle. So that the passengers sit on these wooden seats down the side of each tram. It's called longitudinal seating, where you sit with your back to the windows and, and face each other. Um, claimed to be very, very comfortable at the time they were built. But I think the amazing thing about this tram car is 130 years old and it's still doing today the very same job that it was designed and built to do way back in 1893. So what a tribute to its builders and the people, the team at Derby Castle Yard here that maintain the trams today, that you can still ride on this amazing 130 year old Victorian tram car. It's an incredible achievement.